In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix some keys are not working on your Windows laptop and PC. I will be sharing few simple tricks that you need to apply and I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed very soon. So if you are stuck on your login screen and you are not able to type your password because of some keys not working, so what you can do, on the right hand corner you will see this human icon or you can look for accessibility, click on it and here you will find on screen keyboard, so you just need to enable it and a virtual keyboard will be coming up. Now what you can do, click on the search box and type the password from your virtual keyboard using your mouse and then log into your computer. So once you are logged in, what you have to do first, right click on your windows icon and from the suggestion choose settings. Here from the left hand menu option, you have to look for accessibility or ease of access. Whichever you get, you have to click on it and then from the right hand side, you need to scroll down and look for keyboard. So click on keyboard and here you have to look for filter keys. So now what you can do if this option has been already enabled, then you have to disable this and after disabling you can check back if the problem has been fixed. But if it's already been disabled, then you have you can try enabling it. And after that check back again if this fixed the problem. And if not, then you can close it. Now make a right click on your windows icon again and from the suggestion choose device manager. Once the device manager comes up, you have to come to the keyboard section, double click on it and here you will find your keyboard. Just right click on it and choose update driver. Click search automatically for drivers. And if you get the same message, the best driver for your device are already installed, then you have to click on close. But if there are update available, it will automatically update it. And after that, check back that if the problem get fixed. Still, if you have the issue, next what you can do, you have to make a right click on it again and choose uninstall device. Again, click on uninstall and after uninstalling, you have to restart your PC and after reinstalling, your driver will be automatically installed. And then you can check back that if the problem has been fixed or not. In case still, if you have the issue, then close everything. Right click on the windows icon again and choose settings. From the left hand menu option, again look for accessibility or ease of access. Here again scroll down and click on keyboard. Then again scroll down and you will find on screen keyboard, you have to enable this. And the virtual keyboard will be up again. Now using this virtual keyboard, click on the search box and you have to type task space s and then you will be getting in the suggestion task scheduler. You have to click on it. Now here in the task scheduler, double click on task scheduler library, then on Microsoft, then on Windows. And then here you have to look for text service framework. So you can scroll down. So once you get it, double click on it. Now from the right hand side, you have to check that if this has been enabled or not. If it's not enabled, you will be getting an option of enable. You have to click on enable. And after that, you have to click on run. And once it's been done, you have to close it. Now again, check back if the problem has been fixed, if your keys are working properly or not. And still, if you have the issues, then, then you need to try updating your Windows operating system. So open your or virtual keyboard. Again, click on the search box, type here update. And from the suggestion, choose Windows update settings or just Windows update. Now here you have to look for the windows update. If there are any kind of update available, then you have to update it. And once your windows has been fully updated, you can check back for the issues and see that if the problem has been fixed. And if not, then finally you have to power recycle your laptop or PC. So you need to press and hold the power button for like 15 to 20 seconds until it gets shut down. And even after shutting down, you have to hold the power button so that it can be completely discharged. And once it's been done, again, you need to plug in your adapter, your power adapter, and then turn on your computer and see that if the problem has been fixed. I'm pretty sure that after applying all this solution, you will be having the uh, fix with you. And still, if you have the issues, then do not forget to let me know in the comment section. And if your issues get fixed, then do not forget to subscribe and like the video. And even let me know in the comment section which method work for you. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.